Maple class, don't wake up the bear. One cold winter's eve, a bear lay asleep in his cave. The bear was big, the bear was soft, the bear was warm. In the woods, a silver hare stopped to rest. She noticed the bear. My ears are so cold, said the hare. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. And since her ears were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, she did. A badger came by, his muscle white with snow. He saw the hare snuggled against the bear. My nose is so cold, said Arthur B's badger. Arthur B. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare. And since the badger's nose was so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. Along came a fox. He saw the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My legs are so cold, said the fox. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. Is that? You may come in, whispered the hare. And since the fox's legs were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. A squirrel scampered out of his tree. He saw the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My toes are so cold, said the squirrel. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare. And since the squirrel's toes were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. A little mouse skirted by, slipping on the ice. She saw the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My tail is so cold, sniffed the mouse. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare, and then she said, and since the bear's ear looked so soft and the bear was fast asleep, she did. In the woods, snowflakes drifted down, softly, softly down, and everything was quiet. Until, from deep within the darkness and the comfy, cosy softness, there came a little sniffle, and the mouse awoke with a twitchy little nose and a great, big sniffle. Shh! whispered the hare, and then she said, but the mouse didn't hear. She was much too busy scrunching her nose and sniffling. She sniffed and she sniffled and she sniffled and she sniffed. Hush, said the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare, and then they said, from the middle of the bear, there came a rumble and a grumble. I'm sorry, said the mouse, but I have a cold and I have to... Mouse too! And she sneezed right in the bear's ear. The bear shuddered, the bear trembled, the bear rumbled, the bear grumbled, and the bear woke up. And he was very hungry. He looked around, he saw the mouse, he saw the squirrel, he saw the fox, he saw the badger, he saw the hare, then he opened wide his huge bear mouth and growled the loudest growl ever heard from a bear. The mouse froze with terror. Run, little mouse, shouted the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare. He's hungry. This time, the little mouse listened for she couldn't help but hear. And away they all ran, the mouse, the squirrel, the fox, the badger, the hare, slipping and sliding through the woods as fast as they could go. And the bear, he yawned a big, soft, warm bear yawn, stumbled to his feet and trudged off through the snow to find something to eat.